Good evening, campers. This is a coffee-only review. And once again, thank you so much for your support. If you're part of the Glampers, then you get to choose a book for me to read. And that is Earthlings by Sayaka Murata. This book in particular, I have heard a lot about. So I knew going into it that we might be touching on some transgressions and controversies. Now, some of you might have read this because early on in the Book of Boy book club, a few people got together to read this and I, I wasn't able to get a copy at the time. I was committed with other things, but here we are. We've come full circle and I finally have finished Earthlings, which I have to say is quite a quick read. I finished this in under six hours. Murata's prose is simple, straightforward. You're not really trying to keep on top of a lot of things, apart from that our main character, her toy hedgehog, Piat, comes from the planet Popa Bobbia. Poppin Popopia. Poppin Popopia. Poppin Pop Pop Poppin Poppin. Poppin' a boppia. Poppin' a boppia. Poppin' pop Poppin' a boppia. We're gonna go for Poppin' a boppia. Our main character, Natsuki, has a very close relationship with her cousin, Yu. And she, at a young age, divulges that her toy hedgehog, the one on the front here, Piat, is actually magical. Curious to how Yu is going to react. He also divulges that actually, well, he's an alien and everyone else are earthlings there's something othered about him and that suki and you feel solace in that they feel closure at their young age that explains why they don't really fit in and don't think that they're going to be part of society as they grow up that suki throughout this novel and with each chapter we see her age feels distance from society she really is alienated and Murata takes a very surreal approach I would say as each of the six parks revolves around an event where Natsuki is inflicted or inflicts something to someone else. Within Natsuki's youth we have a depiction of child abuse and she goes to cousin Yu for solace and there they talk about love and what it is to be love and how they are committed to each other and have a pseudo wedding ceremony which outlines very briefly their love for each other and that they're not going to hold hands with anyone else. You and Natsuki then decide to consummate the marriage where her family walk in on this incestuous act and rip the two apart. Natsuki dealing with trauma and trying to deal with what love is and compassion becomes distanced. She doesn't want to be part of any of this because nothing makes sense to her. Natsuki, as she gets older, does end up marrying someone. But this is a very aromantic relationship. And more so, it feels as though they have become married to stave the parents off. As a new has now become a part of society. He has a job, he's a regular citizen. In the society that Natsuki believes is just a baby-making machine, through instances that become more graphic and detailed and surreal in their nature, Yu is brought back into Natsuki's life, where the three of them discuss, well, what is taboo? What can we do to rebel against society. So, so Murata doesn't just feed this information to shock and awe. There is a discussion of why the need there is for taboo. Why don't we want to fit in a society if we feel as though it doesn't reflect the wants? I'm sure you could think of authors of books that deal with alienation, but Murata, especially as we move into the latter parts and when Piat begins speaking, to Natsuki. It became almost a gimmick to me. A lot of people have felt a gut wrench and a very emotional response to Earthlings because you have this juxtaposition of something that is very 
playing something very traditional, albeit very upfront aware of how childish it all seems. And then on top of that, we have the very grotesque, we have the obtrusive, we have the oblique, we have the bleak. As we move into the magical realistic murders, into cannibalism, Busaka had lost me. This felt kitsch. It's similar to watching horror B-movies, and I could almost see an early David cronenberg s style in this, where, yes, it's grotesque, yes, it's off-putting, but watching it, you're a bit like, yeah, okay, this is this is happening. Though I can see what Murata is doing, a lot of the laurels on this book, I feel falls into its transgression, its surreal aspect, but lean into it as much as you want, it ends up being kick. And as such, I didn't particularly enjoy my time with Earthlings. Therefore, I'm going to give it a four out of 10, but I would very much be interested to read Convenience Store Woman by Murata on the basis that it is so different to this. Thank you once again for all your support and thank you Glampers for choosing this book. I will speak to you all on the Discord very soon. Bye!